Don't forget to check out the merch shop, link is in the description below. Hey guys, TrickShot76 here and I'm doing another collection update for the first time in like forever it feels like. Um, I just had a lot of moving and setting everything up and then by the time I set out all of them up again, I need to get one from the back for a video and that's really obnoxious. Um, and then all of the ones in front of that fall down or just something happens and they all fall down. So yeah, I guess you could say it's been kind of stressful getting all of these set up again. But there's one other caveat to this. It's uh, it's just going to be my Marvel figure setup. I mean, that's the bulk, like 90% of my uh, collection as well. I only have like seven DC figures and maybe 12 Star Wars figures and then a couple of Pokemon too. So it's not like you're really missing out on anything. This is what you guys came to see. So let's get started on that collection tour. All right, starting at the, all right, starting at the top, we've got our Asgardians right here. Looking great. Um, Korg's in the back there too. So yeah, it'd be nice if we got like Heimdall in his armor instead of just in his uh, rags that he wore in Ragnarok and Infinity War, but yeah. Um, we had more Thor villains too. I don't know how much room I'd have for them, but. Uh, I would like to get them. I don't have Beta Ray Bill right now because I just haven't gotten around to getting him, but he'd go up here too if I did. Moving right along, we've got the Guardians of the Galaxy and our other Cosmic Heroes. Um, she is from the A-Force box set. I'm not really 100% sure what her name is, but she looks cool. She's got Galaxy Swirls, so she goes up here. Silver Surfer has been standing up pretty well. Hopefully he does not fall over and kill everybody because that would be nice. Um, we've got our three-person Nova Corps. Um, yeah, we got our scrolls right here. Got the Toy Biz Super Scroll there. Working on the build a figure. Don't have it done yet. Uh, we've got Thanos in the Black Order. I do not have the box set version. As you can see, I still have the old version of Proxima and Call Obsidian, but they still look great. I'm so happy to have them. And then lastly, we've got our Kree team over here. And they are separated from the Skrulls because they would all get into a fight and knock everybody over. So, yeah. That is the top shelves. I've got all the cosmic characters and stuff. The ones that are in higher planes, if you will. Um, that's why those ones are on the top. Moving right along, we've got our Fantastic Four next to the w Wakandans. Um, I put them here because, you know, Black Panther first appeared in... Fantastic Four comics. I mean, who didn't, though? So I figured it works there. It pairs nicely. Moving along to the MCU shelf, and it is quite full and quite crowded, if you cannot tell. Um, Hulkbuster and Hulk are back there. Giant Man's back there. WandaVision, Doctor Strange. I'm not going to name everybody. You can tell who it is. Um, but yeah, got a whole lot of people up there. Oh, that's where he is. <laughs> I've got two Black Panthers on the shelf. I thought this one was missing for like three months um, and I could not find him, but I just rearranged him. So, so that's nice. Let's put him back over here. If this knocks down everybody, the video's over. Okay, cool. So, cool. <laughs> I'm not missing a Black Panther. That's good to know. Then over here we have um, Baron Mordo, but he has no head because I'm using it for something, so don't worry about it. But this is all my MCU villains. Um, Thanos goes up there just because he's in a league of his own and he would not fit on here with all of his goons. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, Mystique goes here just because I don't know where else I would put movie Mystique. Oh, and movie Wolverine is back there too. Um, but yeah. A lot of MCU villains that we have gotten figures for, which I didn't realize how many we did get figures for, which is kind of cool. Um, let's move right along. All right, next up we've got S.H.I.E.L.D. and then we've got the Russian figures. I didn't really have a spot for them and they were just kept kind of showing up, more of them and more of them, so I just put them together and that's where the Russians are. S.H.I.E.L.D., we've got like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. section in the back there with Coulson, Sif, Quake, Yo-Yo. Um... And then Ant-Man and Captain Marvel were both, like, friends of S.H.I.E.L.D. people before, so. And I had duplicates of them, so that's why they're there. Moving along, we've got our comic Avengers. Um, a lot of them here. Uh, I don't think anybody doesn't belong. I mean, you could argue Wolverine and Spider-Man, but you could also understand why they would be there. So, they're sitting pretty cool. 
Next, we've got all of our Avengers villains. As you can kind of see a theme with uh, how these shelves are paired. we got heroes, villains, heroes, villains. But anyway, so we've got all of our um, Avengers villains here that did not fit anywhere else also. So, yeah. Um, Doom's here just because he's like an everybody villain. He'll, he'll square up with anyone. Um, I'm just going to move down now. Keep going. We've got our Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Um, we need more. I've got the Hellfire Club box set coming in, so then I can replace this tiny Emma Frost that uh, Hasbro made way back when. Um, so they're going to go in front of the goons eventually, but yeah. And then Lady Deathstrike is back there behind Sinister because she's a terrible figure, but she still deserves to be on the shelf. And then Namor's here because he didn't have anywhere else to go. Then, I know you guys all want to see this, we've got the x-men um so i got some of these uh shelves for your i think it's a like spice rack um but i've been starting to get those to put them on shelves because it helps organize people a lot more so trick shot pro tip number one um but yeah so we've got our x-force section over there we've got our school section professor x everybody you get it it's the x-men you know and over here we've got aim and hydra I do not have either of the two packs that came out for these, unfortunately. I wish I did, but I did get that Fortnite figure, and then I removed the face and just put a silver plate, and it looks like a giant aim robot. So that was really easy, and he was on clearance. So trick shot pro tip number two. All right, down to the lit ones. We've got my Iron Man armory right here. There, as you can tell, there have been like a couple of Iron Mans on other shelves as well. So this is not all of them, but this is most of them. Um, and it is awesome. I love having the light there, and the spice racks work perfectly here as well. So, cool. Tons of Iron Man. Moving along, we've got the Spider-Verse and the Marvel Knights. Um, you can definitely tell some shelves are fuller than others. Uh, <laughs> I did not originally intend to have this many spider people, but, uh, I just kept getting them because I'd be like, ooh... I want to get Silk. Ooh, I want to get Spider-Woman. Let's get Agent Venom. Let's get Scarlet Spider. Let's get this and the one and that one. And then boom, look what happened. Spider-Verse. Um, so that's fun. And then here are all my Marvel Knights. Spider-Man is not right here because they're all right there. So don't at me. Um, but yeah, tons of fun with those ones as well. Then we have all of our Spider-Man villains slash street level villains. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about these. This one is the shelf that always takes the longest to set back up. Probably because somebody always gets knocked down. But, ton of fun. Um, yeah. Moving right along, we've got the Serpent Society and the Dark Avengers here on the bottom shelves. Um, they're just on the bottom because there's not really room for them anywhere else. So, that's why these ones have to go here. Hopefully we get more Serpent Society members eventually. Um, you guys already saw my top 10 list if you didn't do it and then Dark Avengers Characters like Songbird and Black Ant are here because you know, it just makes sense for me They don't really have another spot to go anyways. So that's where they are uh, Here are all of our magic characters that we got She has to be on that stand because she will fall over otherwise um, But yeah again, these either duplicates that I had or They didn't really fit on another shelf. So this shelf was formed and then lastly this shelf is not really an actual thing it's just where i put all my goons right now uh because i had a lot of them and they were taking up room in the boxes that i put all the extra figures in <laughs> uh so goons and peely from fortnite so if you play fortnite join me sometime i don't know we'll see but yeah that is my Marvel Legends collection and a few selects in there too. Um, tons of fun. Uh, it took years to get this. It wasn't something that happened overnight. Uh, and I hope I never have a house fight or something because I would lose a lot of Legends. But yeah, so keep this in mind if you're ever going to ask me to make a specific video. Um, I might not have the character you want me to use. Um, so can't do it in that case. But yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. That is going to be my collection update for right now. Maybe on Instagram at some point I'll do a Star Wars 
DC Pokemon one for the other shelf. Um, it's a smaller shelf and I might set that up eventually, but I just didn't feel like doing it right now. I just finished setting all of these guys up, so I figured I should do a review, or a, not a review, a, an update, um, before one of them falls over, because that means all of them are going to fall over. Um, it'd be really funny if one of them fell over right now to end the video, but I don't want to deal with that stress, so we're going to end it before that happens. Bye!